Yo, what up? It's a tip of the week, and today we're going to discuss suturing, but specifically the continuous suture. Now, this suture is going to be great when you're going to be doing procedures such as a full mouth extraction, and you're repro- you're re approximating tissues over a long span. Now, don't be concerned with the continuous suture. I know for some it's eluded, but I want to make this real simple, and we're going to use that today. So, once again, if you didn't see my last week's video, go back to the other video and check it out. So, when we're talking about a continuous suture, what we're going to do is just reapproximate the tissues over a long span. So we're going to start it just like our interrupted suture like we have there. And we're going to grab two to three millimeters of tissue on both sides. If you can't get two, if you can't get the tissues at the same time, don't be alarmed. You don't get extra points. Like one of my mentors used to say, you don't get extra points by getting both tissues. And I'm going to leave a tail present. And I'm going to grab my suture so I make sure it doesn't stab me. And I'm going to go on top. On bottom. And yes, that's the word. On bottom is a word. (laughs) On top. And then on top. So once again, you don't want to make the suture too tight because if you do, then what will happen is it can unravel. And you don't want to, and you want to make sure that you cut that tail that has about a milli, about two millimeters left because this could unravel and ruin your suture and it could come loose. So we're going to start our continuous suture here. And as you can see, that's just a simple interrupted suture. And we're going to go ahead and start our continuous process. Let it pass all the way through. Now with my tail here, I'm just going to turn it around and slide the back end of my suture underneath it and then pull. Now make sure because sometimes these sutures will get knotted on you. So you just want to make sure that when you're pulling, it has a nice flow to it. You See that knot there? Just remember, all we're doing is reapproximating tissues. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm going to create my knot going past, passing through. And depending upon the type of tissue, I mean, the suture that you have, knots are easily formed on here. On this suture board, it would probably be better for me to use a silk suture just because of the tissues. But chromic gut is my favorite, and it doesn't act like this in the mouth. Once again, I'm going to do another pass through. Don't want to get too little sutures, too little of a bite. And it'd probably work if I just passed it through a little tighter in there. That's probably what's going to make it better. You see that? The reason why I didn't work there is because my knot was too long. I'll pass it through again. So we're on the same page. And this is the continuous locking suture. And you see how that tissue is just reapproximating itself back together on itself? So the issue that I had with this one is that this tail was way too long. So make sure your tail isn't. So I want to turn it on its side. Bring the back end of the suture through it. Let's 
See how we're starting to form that continuous suture there, continuous locking suture. So make sure that your tail isn't too long or you're gonna get knots. So you wanna bit it about an inch. Take the back of your suture, pass it through. And you see the locking there. Now, and you, I wanted to leave this in here. I'm not going to edit this out, but I wanted you to see what the difference is of a short tail versus a long one. Knotting happens, and then it tends to be an issue. Now, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up of this continuous suture because you can't just leave it like that and let the patient go. So what you're going to do is this. I'm pretty sure you're asking me, well, you know, there's no tail. Well, you're very intelligent because those are the best questions. What we're going to do is this. We're going to go ahead and start the process again. Get a nice bite of tissue. Like such. And I'm pretty sure you're like, oh, there's a tail. Yep, there's my tail. Leave it about an inch long. And we're going to go on top. On bottom. And yes, that is a word. Today it is, and forever, as long as this video is up. On top again. On top again. All right, ladies and gentlemen. There goes your continuous suture. It starts off just like you're interrupted, and then you just lock it all the way through until you finish. So there you have it. This is Dr. Jared Williams, and my focus is for you to smile after surgery. Make it a great one.